Hello. Ina Rubenstein lives at V, an upscale senior living community in La Jolla Village. We had decided a long time ago that we needed to uh, be at a place where we could age in place actively and not have to worry about getting sick later on. Ina and her husband Erwin moved into this airy two-bedroom apartment on the seventh floor of V two years ago. It's a continuing care retirement community that includes assisted living and skilled nursing care for its residents. We will look for one that uh, where the monthly rate does not change as you move from one section to another. And, and when we were looking, there were only three in the area. To qualify to live here, the Rubensteins had to be both financially and physically healthy. The idea is that you come in when you're healthy and active and you live with us for the rest of your life at whatever level of care you should need. And if you need to move to higher levels of care, you don't pay any more than what you did in independent living. Residents of V pay an entrance fee and then between about $3,000 and $6,000 a month to live here, depending on the size of their apartment. Everyone has access to the community's amenities. The restaurant downstairs, we have more comfort foods. We have your meatloaf, your roasted chicken, uh, roasted turkey, that sort of thing. Uh, but we also have fresh fish every day. And upstairs, more composed like you're going out to dinner at a nice restaurant downtown. Until the economic downturn, there was a waiting list to get into V. As quickly as an apartment came available, we would call someone from the wait list, and it was likely that they would take the next available apartment. However, in 2008, one thing was changed a little bit, and it happened to have coincided with our putting up our new tower with an additional 184 apartments. Um, things slowed down a bit. In this economic climate, upscale senior communities often have trouble filling their space. Meanwhile, at the other end of the financial spectrum, affordable assisted living, like this project in City Heights, often have waiting lists. Josie Davis is 76. She lives at City Heights Square, affordable senior housing run by senior community centres, a private non-profit. Her late husband was in the military, and she now lives on his pension of about $1,000 a month. The rent is it's still a cheap because it's 577 my rent here. This is only studio, you see, because I can't afford to have the one bedroom. One bedroom will be 600 and something. Davis lives alone, but surrounded by her memories. Well, when I was young, I didn't have that much wrinkle as I have now. Activities here are limited. Uh, some residents, they play that games, you know, domino and uh, card game in the uh, lunch room, you know. They do that, and they have Moby every Friday. There is breakfast and lunch every day. Davis sometimes goes to the food bank to get food she cooks for herself in the evening. Nurse Carolyn Stevenson keeps an eye on more than 100 seniors living in this complex. We're showing here in City Heights that if we provide an affordable place to live, we provide nutrition, we provide supportive services, people can live here for the rest of their lives and die here, which actually is a good thing because it means they aren't dying in an emergency room, a hospital, or a long-term care facility. To qualify to live here, seniors have to be 62 and have an income below about $26,000 a year. Paul Downey of Senior Community Center says most of the residents live on less than $12,000 a year. Rent is subsidized so they don't pay more than 60% of their income. When we look at the, the gaps in services and the numbers of seniors who don't have adequate income in San Diego and in the state of California, that is a deep concern and when you multiply that by the demographics that we're going to double the number of seniors in this country between today and 2030, it's a real problem. The Elder Index suggests more than 40 percent of seniors in San Diego struggle to make basic ends meet. What I have here is, you know, a place for me to stay, to sleep, to come home to. I have a place to come home to, so I'm thankful for that, that I'm not on the street.